Hello there and welcome back to another episode from the Yorkshire Outdoorsman. I'm sure by now most of us shooters will have heard the devastating news about the government's decision to withdraw the general licence for pigeon and other bird shooting. For those of you who don't know, um, I think it was April of 1979 and the government brought out what was then called the, I think it was the, the council directive, which pretty much, I think, pretty much banned the shooting of all birds, pretty much. Uh, it was later amended uh, in 2009 and became the bird directive, which was kind of a, kind of a loophole, if you like, um, to, to that decision, which brought, which brought in the general license. Um, which is um, a license issued by the government every year, it's reviewed every year and it gives people the right to remove, shoot or otherwise, pest species. If you want to look at the list of the general license, the list of species, then I'm sure you can find that on the internet um, for what good it is now. The devastating, absolutely devastating news to us shooters and one of the most annoying things about it is it's come out of the blue. There's been no consultation, absolutely none whatsoever. The Basque say they didn't know about it until uh, last week or something like that, or a few days ago at least. And now it's been dropped on us without any warning whatsoever in consultation. At this time of year as well, that they've chosen the, pot, the worst possible time to do this. We've got sp uh, spring lambs, um, which as you know are, are, are at risk from crows, etc. and stuff like that. And springtime is, is, a, is, a, is a time where we as pest controllers need to do our best work. So the timing of it as well is absolutely horrendous. Now Chris Packham, our wonderful friend Chris Packham, is responsible for this. There are many stories on the internet now um, and I suspect there will be lots of these videos coming out as well from, uh, from all the YouTubers. Um, and I'm interested to hear from other YouTubers what their take on it is. Fair enough, at the moment it doesn't seem 100% clear what is going on. That's from midnight tonight I believe this rev revocation of the general license comes into force so we can't go pigeon shooting anymore. The details of it are not 100% yet um, there are three licenses that have been revoked. Um, the first one being the um, ability to shoot vermin species that are causing or are likely to cause a um, health hazard to people. The other one is where the um, public safety <coughs> to do with damage um, to buildings etc. And the uh, the other one is is to uh, prevent disease, etc. I think it's something along those lines. But it, at the moment, it's not mentioned anything about protection of crops. That's my understanding of it. But if that is the case, then in my opinion, it's just the tip of the iceberg. What comes next? There is a website I'd like to draw your attention to, or a web page should I say that I draw your attention to. It is a petition that has been put up in order to try and voice our opinion if you like. It's to do with Chris Packham, bless him. And the point being that Chris Packham is a BBC employee and as a BBC employee he should be impartial 
Now this has been brought up before many times, I believe. But as a BBC employee, he should remain impartial and he is using his celebrity status to pursue a personal goal, to push his own agenda. And that should not be allowed. So this petition is to get the bugger sacked. He shouldn't be working for the BBC under those circumstances. It's just outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. So, it's a short video um, today. Um, I'll, I'll just put you up a shot of the, um, of the web page. In fact, we'll look at it live. Just bear with me one moment. This is the web page. There it is. Look, isn't, isn't it lovely? Let's just refresh the page. As you can see, the list has been added to all the time. Seventy nine thousand signatures, and you can see it scrolling at the moment. So, people are extremely angry about this, and it's it, it, there are more people signing every minute. The goal at the moment is 150,000. My own personal opinion is that we'll, this petition will far outreach 150,000. Um, that remains to be seen, and it'd be interesting to see. This is the page. I'll put the link in the description to this petition and I urge you, please, please, go to this page and sign the petition. Let's protect our sport. Our farmers in the UK are one of the most important people in the country, I believe. Can you imagine the British economy without farmers? Farmers do an absolutely tremendous job. And they don't get the recognition that they, they deserve. And we, as shooters, do our best to help protect those crops that not only feed our nation, but also give us a, an export as well. So I think it's very important that we support not just our farmers, but the um, people that are doing their best to try and help the country. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're doing. Um, some people may not do it for that particular reason, but at the end of the day, that's that's what we're doing. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, please go to this uh, this page and, uh, and add your signature to this growing list. Thanks for listening.